on May 4th, 2018, Star Wars Day. StarWars.com ran this poll, and it's still running. Uh, what is your favorite Star Wars movie? The ultimate question for any fan of the saga. Actually, I don't think it is, but it is uh, an interesting question. It's Star Wars Day, a time to celebrate Star Wars fandom in many forms, but we can guarantee that one universally popular activity is sitting down to enjoy your favorite film. Everyone has a preference, and though it might be tough to choose just one, let us know which is the best of all the Star Wars films in your eyes. Although we've asked this in the past, with three more movies added to the collection, we think it's time to revisit the question. Tell us why you picked your favorite in the comments below, and may the fourth be with you. Yeah, what's your favorite movie? Okay, so we've got all the movies listed here in order, okay? Uh, all nine of them. Uh, this is evidence of absolute weirdness. I'm going to show you something in a minute, okay? And I'm going to ask you to do something in response. Now... Uh, I think we can all kind of agree, if you're if you're a real Star Wars fan, um, probably one of these three is the, your favorite or the best um, of the entire series, uh, just because they are classics and they're perfect movies. Return of the Jedi a little less so, but I still love Return of the Jedi. This scene in particular, this whole sequence is amazing, and it makes the film. Um, but I think between these two, uh, most people agree that Empire Strikes Back is probably a perfect film. Uh, so is it your favorite? I don't know. Uh, it, it, is it my favorite? Hmm, I, my favorite might be the first. But anyway, just because I think most people are going, that, that are in our community are going to agree, I'm going to vote Empire Strikes Back. Look at this, 28%. Uh, voted for Empire Strikes Back, 8% New Hope, 8% Return of the Jedi. Ready for the treachery? What is going on here? The Last Jedi, 31%. Okay. Uh, SJW Weirdos have trolled this site, and they have deliberately done this on the biggest Star Wars uh, website on the internet. Uh, they've all concentrated to vote for The Last Jedi. Um... I mean, not even The Force Awakens or Rogue One. The Last Jedi, the, the, the movie where... Um, you know, social justice warriorism uh, took over. Uh, this movie could not possibly uh, be any real Star Wars fan's favorite. Uh, not only is it an abysmal movie, uh, it doesn't even have any kind of cohesive narrative. It does not um, pay tribute or homage to any of the greatness of Lucas's original films. Uh, it disgraces them. Uh, this is a disgrace. So what I'm going to ask you to do right at the opening of this video is I'm going to post um, the link to this poll and we're gonna see if we can turn this around as a community and we don't have uh, a big gap here uh, to make up but I think uh, I've got 34,000 viewers um, I think between us uh, if we all concentrated on voting for Empire Strikes Back I know you might disagree but that's not the purpose of this poll uh, get in there vote for the Empire Strikes Back and let's see if we can rescue this poll from these disgusting people Hello. I started this gangsta shit. Hey, hey, hey. And this the mother thanks I get. Hello. I started this gangsta shit. Hey, hey, hey. And this the mother thanks I get. Hey, thank you, thank you very much, and welcome to Comic Artist Pro Secrets. I am Ethan Van Skyver. I'm a comic book artist, and I have been for 25 years. Uh, I'm also a big Star Wars fan. Uh, very big Star Wars fan, and uh, your host. You can call me your Uncle Ethan, Uncle Evan, Uncle Elliot. I don't really care. Uh, I'm just your pal. Um, this is uh, a toy review. This is another good toy. Uh, I'm actually pleased uh, to be showing you this. And I'm going to show you another good toy a little bit later. Um, uh, speaking of Empire Strikes Back, we have uh, this you know, very uh, unfortunate meetup here um, between Han Solo and Boba Fett. And uh, they made a great toy of it, I think. Um, yeah, I, you know, ordinarily these toys are so terrible, they're so awful. Uh, that uh, I rip right into them and d destroy the packaging, but we'll actually talk about this because this actually does look pretty good. Uh, I think this came out in time for, this might be kind of older, even though I saw this on the shelves at Toys R Us. No, not Toys R Us, Target. Saw this on the shelves at Target. I did not purchase it. I made a mistake, and I, instead I purchased um, Ray um, fighting one of those uh, disgusting palace guards that actually killed her. What are those things called? I already forgot their names. You don't forget, uh, forget Gamorrean Guard. You know, you don't forget any of that stuff. You forget everything from Last Jedi. The whole thing is forgettable. 
except for the the trauma that it left behind the rest of it is just it immediately leaves your brain um, and that is why it is not a classic film uh, this will forever be a classic film uh, this man didn't really have too many lines of dialogue but this man did and when you ask someone who is Han Solo who's Han Solo well um, I can quote you a, a million lines of his dialogue I can quote you so many wonderful things that Han Solo said I can tell you all about who he is um, and uh, you know this is this is what's worrisome about the solo movie that's coming up uh, are they going to be able to recapture uh, the Harrison Ford Han Solo just the way he kind of used his eyebrows and his smirk when he delivered some of his lines he's such a he's such a smart ass with a little bit of insecurity uh, behind it a little bit of fear um, but mostly bravado uh, self-confidence and uh, or it might be a put on I mean he's a really complicated amazing character uh, it, it's it's yeah I, you're kind of surprised that Disney Star Wars which is floundering um, to to deal with any of the characters that they've themselves created uh, might take on Han Solo and try to do a movie uh, all about him it just seems like a big challenge it's it's like me trying to do a Rembrandt imitation I can't I can barely do what I do which is Rose Tico dressed like uh, Slave Leia uh, that was unfortunate last night uh, I won't forget that for a long time guys uh, so anyway yeah Han Solo Boba Fett cool looking toy we flip it over great art on the box I mean that's a great shot of him great shot of Boba Fett you almost want to keep the box on the back of course Force Link 1.0 does not work. They want you to put this on your wrist and bend your arm, bend your wrist, and supposedly if you hold the action figure like this uh, and and do this and this and whatever, uh, the action figure is supposed to talk and maybe I don't know say things. It looked three different sounds, just three. Why would I? Can't you just program that into the toy? I mean, ha has technology fallen uh, to this degree? This is like something from the 1980s. Uh, just to get this toy to say three different sounds, uh, you've got to strap on a rocket launcher onto your wrist. Like, it just seems a little bit excessive. Uh, it seems a little bit, um, yeah, a little bit old tech. We should be a we should be past that now, Hasbro. I mean, you know, just a little. I don't know. Even a, even pulling a string like they did in the 1950s on a toy. Uh, and, and letting a record spin on the inside is more advanced technology than this is. And I know you think otherwise, Hasbro, but that is why uh, I am here to tell you otherwise. This Nobody wants to do this. I'll bet, I'll bet I'm the only one who did this. I'm the only one. I'm the only one who bought this. You can tell. It's, they're stacked up at Toys R Us. They're stacked up at Target. It's ridiculous. Oh, by the way, thank you for the, the, you know, the free Kylo Ren figure. This mincing little emo goth fool thank you for that free fear I never would have bought it otherwise I never would have so thank you for giving it to me for free um, alright so let's respectfully now open this packaging look how respectfully I'm gonna do this I'm gonna actually get a pair of scissors so as not to rip the box let's let's cut the tape here cut the tape are you guys okay in there alright alright we'll be with you in a minute yeah don't forget to vote on that poll. Make sure that you do that. Now, pause this video. Go vote on that poll. Only vote Empire Strikes Back. Do not vote Return of the Jedi or New Hope, at least not yet. First, let's overtake The Last Jedi with Empire Strikes Back, and we'll show these fools. Is there anything in the box? Ah, okay. So in, inside of this beautiful box, there is um, a set of instructions. Uh, yeah, these are more instructions on how to use the unworkable uh, Force Link 1.0. Uh, they want you to do this. They, they, can I pull back the camera a little bit? Is it zoomed in? Yeah, right, we got a little bit of room. They want you to do this. I don't want to do that. That's not how I play with action figures. That's not how I play with action figures. I don't. I don't grip. I, I, here's Captain Phasma. I don't grip Captain Phasma like this and then do this. I don't do that. How you doing, Captain Phasma? By the way, uh, the more I play with this particular toy, uh, this is made from a different plastic. I think I might do a whole separate video on this when Solo 2, Wave 2 comes out. Uh, wave 1 came out without an, a, a, cap, uh, a Han Solo figure in it. We talked about that. Uh, they're using cheaper plastic now. 
this figure, look at this. See this bendiness here? Look at this. We can, it's like arm wrestling Captain Phasma. Uh, look at that. This figure is incapable of holding her weapon. Um, I've tried to keep her gun in her hand, but because her arm is made of uh, the same stuff that you imagine Gumby is made out of, uh, she cannot cannot hold her, her weapon. Uh, this is squishy. This is squishy. Now, I don't know why they chose to go with a different uh, kind of plastic. Uh, let me see. What can I use to test that? We got a stormtrooper here. Yeah, this stormtrooper, you can't do that with his arm. You can't do it. You can't squish his hand. This is stiff plastic. Uh, in contrast, I'm not even trying hard. Do you see that? Uh, are they trying to save money because the action figures are not selling? Uh, an interesting question for another day. Um, okay, so inside this box, oh, we, we do have... Uh, they're, they're doing more of this, like, extreme G.I. Joe, uh, you know, features with these toys. This is not necessary, Hasbro. We, we don't need this. Uh, children uh, do not need this. These characters actually fire up imaginations in and of themselves. Uh, they don't need the extra silliness that w did not appear in the movies. But we'll demonstrate it anyway. This is my first new Boba Fett toy. I will be keeping this. This is very, very nice. Uh, yeah. The, the thing about Hasbro, again, this is a, a toy company that is firing on all cylinders. Lucasfilm uh, has always been um, an oppressive uh, per, you know, person to, to uh, deal with when, you, when it comes to their licenses. Uh, they really are strict. Uh, they bust balls. I, I talk to people who've worked in comics, on Star Wars comics, and they are, uh, yeah, they're they're very difficult. People ask me, do you want to draw Star Wars anything? No, I don't. I don't, because I don't want to be given my artwork back three or four times um, for minuscule corrections, which is what they do. You know, it's like, hey, make, make Princess Leia's face more regal. What? Uh, yeah, uh, it's not regal enough, more regal. All right. It's not what we want to do. So we've got Boba Fett here. He is, of course, um, only hinged and posable in the way that um, the old Star Wars figures from Kenner were, with the exception of a ball joint on his neck, which allows his head to swivel in a more, and actually look down and look up a little bit in a slightly more realistic way. I like that joint. Um, I am not someone, I know people get confused about this. They go, why? Why do you feel that way? Um, because there's a big difference. When you actually put too many joints in an action figure, uh, the form alters. I mean, you know, they, they stop to being shaped like a human being and start being shaped like a pile of hinges and ball joints. It, it just stops looking convincing. Hasbro did a great job. Uh, this toy standing here, he looks just like Boba Fett, um, and uh, it's perfect. Absolutely perfect. Here we have his rocket pack, which uh, famously used to fire a missile when this toy first came out. Uh, now they, they won't do that. It's funny that they won't even do it nowadays. I mean, even today, uh, this rocket pack would have been better if it did shoot a missile. It would have been a way of kind of defying the 1970s and uh, all the silliness uh, about toys of that time period. Nowadays, uh, you can launch projectiles all the time. I mean, all toys launch projectiles. So I wish they would have done that here. Uh, it looks like, are these both? Yeah, these are both Boba Fett's. We've got two, we got a rifle here. It's taped down. Let's see if we can get that out. I don't like how they do this. This just looks like regular scotch tape. And it is completely covering the rifle. I have a pair of tweezers here. Maybe I could use those. A-zone tweezers. And yeah, we can just let's see if we can pull this thing out without damaging it too much. And uh, these are famously, these guns, not at all like the, the same materials that they used uh, in the 1980s. Uh, these guns will bend and flex, unfortunately. Um, not, not great. Uh, these hands, they always do this as well. The hands are like closed. Open your hand up. God damn. Excuse my language. Uh, yeah, just put this gun in your hand, Boba Fett. Why won't you do it? There we go. All right. It looks like it's going to stay, at least. 
unlike Captain Phasma, at least this gun is going to stay in his hand. And you see the difference again. Uh, this isn't bending to the side, not without um, a lot of pressure. Uh, this is used, I mean, this, this toy came out, um, I think, uh, you know, probably six months ago. And so they're still using um, the quality plastic. Let me test that again. Let's see. Captain Phasma came with Finn in his uh, Nazi gear. Here is Finn. Um, no, this is, how weird is that? Uh, Finn is still, you know, pretty hard here. Yeah. It's, it's, it's good quality plastic. Uh, Captain Phasma is not. I mean, you know, uh, yeah, that's bizarre. I can't explain that. I thought I had a, a theory there going, but that might not be the case. It might just be the kind of plastic that they needed to use in order for the silver paint. I don't know. Tell me your theory. This is like a, the game of operation. Yeah, wrenched ankle. All right, here we go. I'm put this gun in his hand. See Hasbro uh, and Lucasfilm. When you ha when you make good toys of good characters, you get a very sincere review out of me. Uh, you get a very happy review. I treat this with honor. I like these tweezers. They're becoming an effective tool here. Um, yeah. Perfect. That looks great. That looks great. Now, again, let's take out the weird G.I. Joe Extreme accessory here and see how this works. I mean, this is silly. This is silly. I, I don't need this. Um, all right. So, oh, we can replace his backpack. We take this off and we add this backpack instead. Um, that kind of hugs his shoulder and these go on his wrists I mean it has it has some playability if you're a kid uh, ew, the fire just came right off <gasps> oh this is this is a shoot does a shoot out fire or no no it doesn't there's no spring in there I don't I don't want this Oh, it's right here. I, I don't want this at all. I don't want this. Uh, these clip on to the arms, uh, but then I'd have to take his guns out, and I'm happy with him wearing his guns. Uh, th the fire comes off if you want. Um, I, I I don't I don't remember Boba Fett ever using anything like this, so I, I really don't want it. Thank you though, Hasbro. I do appreciate the effort. That will be going in the garbage. All right, so here we have Han Solo now. <clears throat> Uh, I do not have an adult Han Solo figure yet, so I was happy to get this. Uh, does this look like Han Solo or does it look like Henry Winkler? I mean, what do you think there? Is that a good likeness of Harrison Ford? Uh, I don't think it is. I don't think it is. I'm not pleased with this. Again, uh, this is... They are zero for two. Uh, we got Luke Skywalker here. We got Han Solo. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know why Han Solo has walleye here. Uh, he's looking at different things on either side of his head um, that is unfortunate that's just a painting error uh, you know look at that I mean I like the way his jacket collar rides up on the back of his neck that does strike me as very Han Solo um, you know what it is I really think that um, for most of these characters like Kelly Tran is here to be scanned for Rose Tico I mean this really is a very accurate depiction of Rose Tico and I do think that some scanning and laser printing uh, is involved Laser, not laser printing. What's the word I'm looking for? 3D printing, 3D modeling uh, is involved making these characters to scale and um, pretty much bang on accurate. Uh, this is a sculpt. Like somebody actually had to sculpt Han Solo here because, uh, you know, he hasn't looked like this in 30 years. Um, so uh, the likeness is less uh, impressive. It's less impressive. Don't like it. All right, let's. See. And this is it. I mean, I, I'm trying. To, I would like to find a better Han Solo figure. Uh, I would like to find an old man Han Solo figure as well. I, I don't have one in my collection. Um, but this one for like you know modern and current, or you know not modern, um, classic Han Solo I should say, is all we got. Uh, let me know if you guys know of a better one because I would replace him. He's got his blaster. This is going on auction. Um, they're selling his original gun, which I think is pretty neat. Um, 
Yeah, so I, I don't... Uh, this all looks okay. I, I don't like his face. Fix your face. I don't like it. I'm not digging it. Uh, his gun does have a holster. That's good. I mean, Hasbro's uh, action figures do feature uh, handy holsters uh, that they can fit their accessories into, uh, oftentimes. And I really appreci appreciate that feature because I will always lose these otherwise. Um, you know, it's nice to, you know, they, they'll fall out of their hands. They're less likely to fall out of the holsters, and that's a good way to store accessories. Uh, so nice, very nice. Uh, Boba Fett also has a holster for his sidearm. Uh, let's see how that works. Yeah, that fits in there great. That's that's even better, actually. That goes all the way down, um, and it's going to stay in there. Uh, good stuff. I mean, really, two... Pretty good toys. I'm 100% on Boba Fett, and I'm about 4 out of 5 on Han Solo. Happy to have him. Unhappy with the face sculpt. I mean, Harrison Ford, really, you got to do a better job. Oh, eh, from the side. Eh, from the side, I'm kind of seeing it. You know what it is? It's his eyes. Stupid painted on eyes. Just destroys the, uh, just destroys the illusion for me. Um, whatever. All right. Uh, so yeah, good set, very good set. Hasbro, make more stuff like this, please. Um, stuff for classic fans. Uh, this is going in the garbage uh, with the instructions for how to work the unworkable Force Link 1.0. Uh, don't do that ever again, Hasbro. Stop with that. Stop being funny. Uh, you know, just make toys that look good, that are good representations of the characters we all know and love from the films that uh, we do love. All right, once again, one more reminder. Please go to the poll. The link is in the description and vote only for Empire Strikes Back. Even if you're a think for yourself or wanna, and you prefer Star Wars A New Hope, you prefer Return of the Jedi, it doesn't matter. For the purposes of this poll, we need to build up Empire Strikes Back to overtake Last Jedi, which is absurd that that's in first place right now. So please follow the link. Um, do that, and let's flex a little muscle here. Thanks, guys. Bye. This channel and its content is made possible thanks to the generosity of people like you who pledge to my Patreon, who offer me super chats during my live streams. Without you, uh, I wouldn't be able to afford to produce all this content. It does take time uh, out of my work day. Uh, so I am so very grateful to all of you. Um, if you would like to join this community by pledging just a dollar or more per month, uh, the link to my Patreon is in the description below. And I thank you.